Matthew Stafford is one of many Detroit Lions players that went on to other teams and earned a Super Bowl bid. The great Barry Sanders was at his peak in the NFL when he retired after just 10 years. He never got that chance. While his teammate, seven-time Pro Bowl offensive tacker Lomas Brown, left the Lions after 10 years and went on to win that coveted Super Bowl ring, this morning they both share their NFL memories and excitement for Matt Stafford's Hollywood scripted season. He could pull that off. I mean, go to a team in your first year and lead them to a home Super Bowl. I mean, you're right. Those are fairy tale stories, and right now Matthew is living that fairy tale. There's one more chapter of that book and story that needs to be written. Um, but but to this point, yes, it, it's worked. It's worked perfectly. So, how excited are you for Matt Stafford? I, I'm excited. I, I really am. That's why you play the game. We've known. That, I mean, the guy is an absolute phenomenal player. You know, just wasn't able to to get the results we wanted in, in Detroit. And uh, and now he's on the verge of winning the biggest game there is. So talk about your Super Bowl experience. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. I went to two of them. I lost it with the Giants, and I won it with Tampa Bay. The first one, we lost against the Baltimore Ravens. All I wanted to do was lay on the field and just slit my wrist. Oh. I just wanted to bleed. I, it was the worst feeling in the world. And then two years later, I'm the coach Gruden. I was able to get back there and win the Super Bowl. And it was just, oh my gosh, it was, it was just the best feeling, just the best feeling because you know you were world champions. You know it was nobody better than you in that year. While wishing his former Lions teammates, some of the greatest to play the game, could have experienced it with him. It was like Barry Sanders and Herman Moore and Kevin Glover, Jerry Ball, guys like that that never got an opportunity. It's not something I, I pushed for. Um, you know, but I think it's it's normal sometimes just to play those what if games. It doesn't always work out perfect when you when you um, go somewhere else. You know, and 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 in my case, Rhonda, I really I really can't complain. I, I mean, I love playing in Detroit, so just you know, a, really a flood of just great memories. Uh, and I don't I don't know that I would I would change a thing about it. There's that school of thought that it's like a guy like Barry, a guy like Calvin Johnson, like the Lions should have let them go. What are, what, what are your thoughts on that? It didn't happen for them, but it did happen for Matt Stafford. A lot of fans feel like it wasn't fair. You, I, I agree, Rhonda. Barry had the opportunity. I mean, Barry retired in year 10. Barry still had three, four, five good years left to him where he could have went to another team. Calvin, in year nine, he retired, so we know he had good years left in him. And you're right, for the organization, to me, I would have let these guys go on and try to win a Super Bowl. I think the football world was shortchanged, not letting these guys and not giving these guys the opportunity to go off and really see what they can do with the rest of their careers. Like Matt Stafford and reach the pinnacle of the football world. I played 18 years, went to seven Pro Bowls, all these other things I did. When I taught the kids, they don't want to know about that. They just want to see that Super Bowl ring. And it kind of validates your career. And I just wish, Calvin, I just wish Barry would have had an opportunity just to participate in one, just to see how it is because it, it's awesome. It's everything is cracked up to be <laughs> all the hype that it gets. It, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's worth everything. <laughs> I just love his energy. Well, now Matthew Stafford has his chance to get that validation stamp on his career and the world will forever know he's one of the greatest and best if he can lead the Rams to victory over the Bengals on Sunday. And speaking of Sunday, coming up on Sunday morning, you're going to hear much more from Barry Sanders and Lomas. My last season when, when I retired, um, and it was kind of a surprise to everyone and and um, we still haven't and recovered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll get there, man. We'll, we'll get there.